I'm a poet and I don't even know it. Yeah, right. <laughs>、hey. are day three and we're ready for an intake. I mean, we're, we're long block, right? Yeah, pretty much almost complete. Yeah, and、uh, speaking of long block,、um, look who's here. Morning, fellas. There is Brian Tooley. His name's on the box. <laughs> so, Got something、uh, for you guys. Awesome. How's it going, so, Brian? Good, good. How are you? So, I see you、uh, brought an entourage here.、Uh, Rick Smith, the actual designer of the、uh, Intake Manifold. I've、yeah. known Rick since 1996,、uh, back when he、uh, still owned Trick Flow. And、uh, of course, Brian Wolf, the impetus for us、uh, making this intake. I think it's a funny story because all weekend,、uh, last PRI last year,、um, everybody came to our booth. Are you going to make anything for Godzilla? Are you going to make anything for Godzilla? And we kept saying, no, no, we're not going to. And Brian came up to the book. The, uh, came up to the booth four o'clock Saturday and said, Will you guys make me a He said, a Please.、Intake? He said, Please. Yeah. Yeah. And I was like, Yes, yes, sir. <laughs> Brian's got a tremendous amount of clout in the Ford market, and I used to be involved with the five liter stuff.、Yep. And Brian was invited to the very first five liter shootout we did. I was, yep. And he actually beat our car by a couple hundred. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't matter I'm, how I'm much. almost over it. <laughs> I'm almost, almost over, over it. It was like 1990. Yeah. yeah so, anyways,、uh, I've really developed a great amount of respect for what he's accomplished and、yeah. retired as a director of Ford Performance. Well, I was Ford Performance, but I retired as a director of、uh, Global Engine Engineering. Yeah. yeah. Ford, and so. so you were directly involved with this engine? Absolutely, yeah. This was,、uh, this was one that I can tell people was the last one that we kind of took forward the board of directors. We made a major change. What the architecture was going to be versus what we ended up with in production, which we could really think ended up a lot better, smaller, tighter,、yeah. um, more power dense, and、yeah. uh, great Super Duty engine. But、uh, obviously, because it's such a good Super Duty engine with all that structuring, it makes it a great engine for the aftermarket. And then, of course,、uh, with Brian and Rick you know, jumping on board with,、uh, with getting this intake, which was really super needed, that real tight, small package, going to work good for, high, you know, for the higher horsepower stuff, going to work good for higher RPM. It works great with boost. You know, setting it up is the set of you know, that modular piece, so again, the, the unique runners for the Godzilla, but then also you know, for the guys that are going to be making you know, big power methanol, they've got it you know, pre cast for a second set of injectors. So、um, it's, it's,、uh, it's quite a versatile piece、um, that really got to market pretty darn quick. And Brian got to actually go to the foundry and actually ram the mold that made that casting. So that's kind of cool. That was a lot of fun. Yeah, Rick, I, I've learned a lot from Rick in the last year on manufacturing. It's、yeah. really fun. From my perspective, you know, all things, you know, all of our success, you know, flows from the grace of God. Yep. Know, so, Very special. Very grateful. And,、uh, what we've got going at BTR.、Yeah. We really appreciate you guys being part of this.、Yeah. I mean, from the bottom of my heart, yeah. Yeah. this is such an amazing engine. I. I think I'm gonna have to make room in my shop for another engine and I'm gonna have to make up a spot、yes. on the couch for myself because I'm gonna have to get in trouble. But, but yeah, you guys are making some beautiful parts for、thank、this、you. and we greatly appreciate it. We appreciate the opportunity. All right, thanks. Thank you. How do you like running that camera, Vinny? I like it, actually. <laughs> I heard you were a camera guy. See, now they know the real thing. I built this whole thing. Photographer, mostly. Vinny's just prettier than I am. <laughs>
All right, so how much power do you think this is good for? I mean, obviously it's gonna make a thousand, but we've been saying all week how we think it's gonna make more, it could make more. What do you think? What do you think in just first impressions? This turbo set is probably capable of 1500 horsepower. You know, um, I think a thousand is gonna be conservative for something like this, which is good because it'll live, you don't have to make a lot of boost. Um, I think they're going to perform well on a big cubic inch engine like this. The exhaust housing is a little bigger, the turbine's a little bigger. Um, I think it'll have good response and it'll run good. All right, so look at these. So you heard it. We're giving the winner more than a thousand horsepower. Stay tuned. Just spotted Bob and Preston from Creative Works, who built Foxzilla. I think they may know a thing or two about Godzilla, so I kind of want to know, guys. What do you think of that? I think, so. I think it's that's crazy. crazy. I think it's badass. I mean, I mean, twin turbo. I'm gonna build one of these for my uh, Ford Ranger. Um, I'm gonna go back out and assault the salt at the Bonneville salt flats. So this is kind of the build I was thinking about doing next for me. Yeah, for a giveaway, this is pretty radical. I mean, anyone that's gonna put this in a car is gonna have a heck of a time. Being a thousand plus horsepower in anything is kind of crazy, but to be able to have twin turbos and crazy headers like this, it's it's pretty cool. So what do you guys think of the Fab? Like, is that is that not just the coolest in the world? It is cool. I mean, you got the new BTR intake, you got these badass headers, this precision turbo stuff, the front drive from any power products, which uh, we actually machine in our machine shop. Um, so I mean, it's going to be badass. I mean, I've been, I've built three of these Godzillas, so I mean, it's going to be a trick piece. And there you have it from somebody who knows Godzillas and knows how to make them run. So what do you think, Mike? Looks awesome. Uh, I'm impressed. Real quality fabrication on all the pipes. Everything looks clean and crisp and like to see it on the dyno, see what kind of power this thing's going to make. So, uh, yeah, well done. If people were interested in getting their hands on one of these, where should they go? Performanceparts.ford.com has all our 7.3 stuff on there that we currently offer. And then all the coming soon stuff as well will be up on that site. Our new intake, our Megazilla motor, cylinder heads, the camshaft, all the goodies that are or that are part of Megazilla too. So performanceparts.ford.com. Well, thanks again for being a part of it. You are welcome. Thank you guys. Great job. Someone is gonna have a great motor to put into a hot rod. We're here in the booth. The engine is obviously done. It's been a wild ride. Vinny, thank you for all your hard work on this. Thank you to our presenting sponsor, Summit Racing. Uh, without them, this couldn't be a possibility. Next steps here is this is going to LME to get put on the dyno to prove it's gonna make at least a thousand horsepower, and then it's going to its new home.